grade 11 pre cal lesson 46, Operations on Radical Expressions. So at the end of the last lesson, we talked about never leaving the denominator as a radical. So what it is, is called rationalizing the denominator. So basically, you want to simplify an expression that has a radical in the denominator, and you're trying to get rid of it. So this is a really simple one, 5 over 2 root of 3. Well, how do we get rid of that root of 3? Well, you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root of 3. So just go proceeding along, 5 times root of 3 is 5 root of 3. Uh, root of 3 times root of 3 is either 3 or the root of 9, which is still 3. doesn't matter how you look at it. So 2 times 3 is 6, so we end up with 5 root of 3 over 6. So 5 over 2 root of 3 and 5 root of 3 over 6 are equivalent radicals. The only difference is we've rationalized the denominator. Now, when you th these are monomials. When you deal with a binomial, and a binomial, right, remember there's two pieces to it, and they're separated by either addition or subtraction. What you have to do is you have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by something called the conjugate. And the conjugate is exactly the same as the original. The only difference is the sign in the middle. So if this was to subtract, the conjugate is a positive. If this was a subtract, then it's a, an addition. Sorry, you're positive. This one was an addition, so then it's a subtraction. So 4 minus root of 6, the conjugate is 4 plus root of 6. So this is just determining what the conjugate is. When we look at the next question, or look at the next example on the next page, you'll see how we use it. So flip the page and go to page 2. So what we have is 11 divided by root of 5 plus 7. We cannot leave the root of 5 plus 7 on the bottom. And if you notice, that's a binomial. It's separated by an addition. So we need to multiply it by the conjugate. And the conjugate is root of 5 minus 7. Now, we have to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by root of 5 minus 7. Okay, so there's the original. We're going to multiply that. So let's do the top. So top, yeah, 11 times root of 5 minus 7. We're going to do that. The bottom, oh, yeah, two binomials multiply together. Now, if you look at this, this is interesting. Root of 5 plus 7 and root of 5 minus 7, what's going to happen to the two middle terms? They are going to cancel. Works really nice. So the top part, we do the 11. So 11 times root of 5 is 11 root of 5. 11 times negative 7 is minus 77. The bottom is root of 5 times root of 5 is 5. 7 times negative 7 is minus 49. So then we just keep working along here. 11 root of 5 minus 77 over negative 44. Now, is there something that goes into the top and bottom? And when you remember top and bottom, something in the 40, out of the 44 has to go into this first piece and the second piece. It just can't go into one. It has to go into both because they're separated by subtraction. Well, we can take a negative 11 out of both. So we end up with negative root of 5 plus 7 over 4, or if you wanted to, you can flip it around 7 minus root of 5 over 4. Either way is correct. Okay, so just to double check on this. On the first one, right, when it's just a monomial like that, you just multiply it by whatever the radical is on the bottom. But if it's a binomial like these ones here, you have to multiply it by the conjugate. There's quite a difference there. And you know you've done it right is when you have no radical on the bottom, you've rationalized the denominator. 